Right, it's a 90 ton crane. They're just putting the strops on now. On the, uh... right. We'll go around the front so you can see it coming, lifting up. That is massive. This crane is huge, everybody. Huge. Huge crane. Massive crane. Size matters. Right, so where are we? Let's just check this lens is nice and clean. Right, so I'm gonna go and check the strops the guys are putting on. <laughs> the guys are putting on there, and then we're gonna be tying her up. Right, yeah, so obviously what we do now. Look at that bad boy. It's huge.
Right, we're going to go around the back now. Um, so he's got it, it over the house. The wasps are all chasing me because I've got high vis on. So it's coming down. Right, the guys are going to want to know from me which way round. <laughs> We've got a crane all day, no panic. Don't panic, Mannering. Right. I'm not pike, but mind the mud. Right. Oh, no. No. Right. Which way round you want it? Clear, Stu. Bye. 
that's it there. Yeah, yeah, then we can, uh, then we can, um, oh, pallets. Lovely. So what we do now, take the pallet off. Oh no. Oh, we'll just get in position, shall we? Yeah. Sorry, the shed's not big enough to put my counterbalance in. Just that. Lift it with just that front one. Step it round. As we well, if we lift it up just enough to read you these and put it down again. Yeah, so we're just going to lift.
So what we'll do, we'll put it on pallets on four corners and get the strops out. Put on pallets on four corners to get the strops out. And you go, take away and pull that out. Do you need a glass of water? Right, now we're going to pinch it up. Pinch it up. Pinch it We could have done it round the other way and span it round, couldn't we? There you go. Live and learn. Alright, mate, alright, we go. I'll take it over with a great yeah, mate. So if you can snoo to your left, where's. Closer to the house or further away? So tight on the thing? No, not necessarily. Right, okay, it's easy on it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, just to 
Back to the middle of the garden, about another uh, 20 centimetres. Towards the. That way, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Okay, where's well, the little bit too wide? Stu, when you put the pallet, I'll do it. The pallet's got to go under enough to pick up that line there. Well, um, put this one. Yeah, put it on the way It's gone good. It's gone good. Yeah.
Right guys, well that was a live install. 90 ton crane, swim spa. <laughs> right Darren, so what the, um, the wooden crates are for is just so we can get the uh, straps out. Now the straps are out, we take the weight and we just move those wooden crates out the side. It's actually got a, I think a nine inch type one base, which is like crushed, uh, crushed granite, I think it's crushed granite. Yeah, crushed granite, like you've got under your road surface. Yeah, and that's compacted down. So all the topsoil's been stripped out. And we are actually, so the customer's garden was slightly uneven and fell away at this end. So all the topsoil we stripped out, we actually put at this end of the garden. And then we put, I think it's at nine or 10 inches of type one MOT base down. Yeah, as you can see here, perfectly level, flat, compacted, and uh, a very, very strong base. It's what's underneath our roads. So more than adequate for the said swim spa. Crushed limestone. I'm not sure what it crushed is. Crushed something. <laughs> but not being a crushed specialist, I'm, um, I'm just saying it's crushed granite. I don't know. Anyone, if you want to find out for me, can someone find out? Have a quick look on Google for me. What is type one MOT? What is it crushed? Crushed what? I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. Stuart's happily stripping back the swim spa, ready for us to take the corners out, place it in position, wire her up, commissioner, and job done. Fill her up. Fill her up, buttercup. Tony delivered tons of it. Right, Tony, Tony is our resident specialist. Thank you, Tony, for your input. So it's crushed limestone, is it? Why is it so dark then? Look. That doesn't look like limestone to me. That looks like granite to me. No, it's, it's grey. I thought limestone was a sort of whitey colour. Yeah. Jason is right. I do work too hard. I need to do less. More holidays. That's what I need, more holidays. Perhaps a little bit of retirement, maybe. What do you think, Stu? Why not? Yeah, a little bit of retirement, and then I can take you all fishing. That'd be much more fun, wouldn't it? Or just racing around a race track, maybe in McLaren's. We'll come back to that, that same old, same old, same old subject. McLaren's. Anyone think I want a McLaren? <laughs> well, you, you know, we have to have a little bit, because we're in Hertfordshire, don't you know? You may have a um, lime scale in London, but we have a um, granite, yes, yes. Far posher, don't you know? <laughs> Nearly ready. Why am I excited? It's not my swim spa. That's right, take your fishing. I can make fishing more exciting because we can go and do it in Thailand. I'm supposed to be going fishing in Thailand with my dad actually, and we will do lives from there, me catching whopping great big catfish, my dad getting massaged by some lady going, oh yeah, oh yeah. And who's your daddy? Well, that's my daddy. You're massaging my daddy. <laughs> Thank you.
So not long. Not long now. Not long now. And we're all going to be done. We're in half in Denny's half cheer, isn't it? It's an old one, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so we're in Harpingdon at the moment. Particularly beautiful. This lovely garden, big beech trees. And this is, these are all beech, aren't they, actually? This beech? Beech? Are they beech? No, that's not beech, is it? Well, that's definitely a beech tree. Anyway, I digress. All right. I shall put you down and help Stuart. When size matters, check out me. Check out my selfie stick. Now that is what you call a selfie stick. Ladies, if you haven't done your makeup and you want to use a selfie stick, this is the one for you. This is called the no makeup selfie stick. So get it as far away as you can. Super selfie! And then you can't reach the button. Oops.
back in two seconds. Yeah. You, you now do that, Stu. Problem I've got it. If I edge that out, then you go stunk and it will rip the side out of this. Cold. Was it a wave machine? <laughs> no, it's alright, I've got just that water treadmill. So it just keeps. 
Oh, and the water at you, so you can just keep swimming. Last corner. Bugger. Bugger. Move bar back if you can work it up. Yeah. We'll use that one, but it has no effect. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the worst what's happening. I don't know, fine, it's just a it's just a trip. Yeah. To bring it here, that's all. Oh bugger. <laughs> so that's what live. Yeah, we're live. He hasn't slept for 74 hours. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course he hasn't. He had a good night's sleep operating heavy machinery. <laughs> He's, only He's only 22 years old. <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> right. There it is. There it is in position. All safe and sound. Now we've just got to fill it up, get it going. Right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. They do put a lot of chemicals in. Right, Ricardo Mitch. Yeah, there was a wasp nest there. There was a wasp nest, wasn't there? Yeah. In the basement, they were doing the building the base. Yeah, it's over the other side. Oh. There was a crack in the ground and there was a wasp nest there. Yeah. Let's get out of it, Rick. Let's see if they're trying to drown you. You've done with us, mate? Yeah, See you soon, next time. Yeah. See you later. Thanks a lot. Oh, what's this? Yeah. Um, will you need to move your van so they can get out? Of course. Well, yeah. Well, no. Either they're going backwards or they're going forwards. I don't know. Okay. It's just if they want to go forwards. So there you go. That is a live installation of a swim spa. 90 ton crane, straight over the top of the house, into position. Then we supported the corners to take the strops out and then took the weight and put, took the supports out the corners. So in safe and sound. So now we've just got to give it a quick clean and then we can start filling it. And as soon as we've filled it, we can get the, uh, get the electrics on. So
So now you can watch us cleaning it. I'm sure that's not that exciting, but hey ho. So now I've just got to jump in and give this little beauty a clean. If I was them, I'd build this the same as my one, so that'd be this thing. Find the cable in. You've got loads of cable. I'd go around the back, run right down there and bring it in here. Yep. I'll jump in and start doing it. No one tell Olga, but I've got her socks on. So now I'm in the spa. Got me little cleaning rags. And I'll give her a nice little polish up before we fill her up. Polish up before we fill her up. Oh yeah. So what do you think of that then? There's an install guy. Who would like to help me do the next one? Cheers Jason. Jason says looks like a good job. That's because it is a good job. Because I've got the amazing Stuart on the team now. And hopefully he's enjoying his job. Loving it. Good. And we found the right end. What's that? Right end. So static. It's not actually dirty. It's it's all static. Of course you can, sir. I have my on that with you, Crane guys. With delivery drivers, we try and nick their pens. <laughs> and crane guys, we try and nick their favourite bearers. Yeah. I think the last guy, he said to me, he goes, do you know what, I've had that, what do you call it, the... Yeah, uh, that's right. The bearer. The guy, no, the guide, rope guide. Tagline. He, yeah, tagline, he goes, I've had that tagline for broad roller. He goes, that is so... And what did I do? I snapped it. <laughs> Bless him, he was telling me about 
It was like Bingy's um, broom. What was it, matey's broom off uh, Only Fools and Horses? Oh, yeah. He's had the same one for. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Not long now! I reckon Lulu just likes watching Stu work. It don't happen very often. What, working? <laughs> you ain't cleaning. That's not good. <laughs> if I was cleaning, she'd be shooting me. All oh, right. Yeah, it's me doing the cleaning. Yeah, Who have we got watching? Who's watching? I can see we've got four people. Can you please make yourself known? Is it Jason? You seen all these wasps? Look, there's a wasp nest right next to the swim spa. Health and safety, I shouldn't be working here. Especially with the high vis on. Loads of cable around the side of the house. Yeah. Yeah, would you pass me the um, uh, cutting compound? 3M. Charles. This works better with a slightly wet cloth as well, Stu. Yeah. Always on every single swim spa um, install we go on. Always have this. This is the equivalent to T cut for um, your swim spa. So on here we've got some, um, it's just where the tape was. So this will cut through it. Plus, if we get any um, scratches or anything on install, these swim spas and hot tubs, they're the same colour, the acrylic's the same colour all the way through. You might get a slight variation with the type of pattern, because obviously this isn't actually a white, a white hot tub. This is actually a um, marble effect hot tub. Yeah, so it's got little, little veins, little veins of a... Uh, grey going through it right. so if we get any minor scratches we can take them out straight away with the cutting compound beautiful absolutely beautiful I think there's a little bit to do over the other end a little bit more up this end I hate these stickers. Right, note to manufacturer. 
Note to manufacturer, make the stickers less sticky. Yeah, those stickers, they leave a nasty little residue. You notice that, Shay? Yeah. Nasty residue. It's like that horrible brown tape. Yeah. And it's a right, a right bitch to get off, isn't it? I'm glad it's a lovely day. This would be a horrible job, wouldn't it? If it was pouring with rain. Um, no, what, what they're doing, they're building a... a um, sorry, this is to answer you, Jason. So what they're, they're building a frame that's going to go around this with some sort of canopy. And um, the frame's going to have a decking in it so you can actually walk up along the side of the spa. Um, and... Uh, and that's going to have the steps built into it. So temporarily. Hello, Scott. Scott's just started watching. You all right? Long time no see. How's everything? You back at work yet? Because um, you were unwell, weren't you, Scott? Anyway. Um, yeah, we're not actually going to do the surround, I don't think. I'm not sure if we're quoted for it. Because this job's a little bit... It's about on our border, really, of where we go to, because it's about, about 50 minutes away when it's due. Yeah, just under. No, just over. You all right, Steve? Still, Steve, still watching? <laughs> well, I'm here. I'm here. Anybody got any other questions they want to ask? So, obviously, in a minute, we're going to be starting filling this. You always, always, always fill them from the uh, from the filters yeah so this is the filtration system just here for the hot tub it comes with a brand new set of Wellis crystal, crystal where is Crystal Micro Plus antibacterial filters? Only the best, young men. Young men? Oh, young men. Uh, see that? There's another mark there that's got to come out. It's not a mark, it's just a. Uh, like where there's some tape bin. I think that had a word on it or something, didn't it, Stu? That bit of masking tape that was inside the tub here had a name on it. Had a name on it. Spa walls or something. the wasps everywhere thank goodness the wasps here aren't angry wasps you're right Steve you enjoying your spa still yeah or are you at work 
or down the pub, or down Bar Rouge. I fancy a pint actually. Pint of water. Oh, yes, there was. Um, Stu, you got a big flat screwdriver? <laughs> like magic. La 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 I'm the happiest installer in the world. Is it because it's my company or am I just a happy guy? What do you reckon, Stu? Oh, you're a happy guy. I'm just a happy guy. Happy go lucky. I'm happy it's in and no one's been squashed or crushed under its huge weight. We haven't dropped it. Now all we've got to do is commission it. Was I right, Stu? What's that? Controls. Yeah. Yeah. Who's watching now? We've just got a new guy. New person. New guy? Hey, that's... Hey, you guys. Hey! For sure. Fantastic. Look. There's Stu telling you the only way forward. Work with Star Wars. Sorry, bit of a moment there. <laughs> I think we're ready for water. Oh, Stu? Yeah. Oh, not Stu, sorry, Steve. Steve, have you ever had a go of um, virtual reality? And you, Stu, have you had a bit of a go in virtual reality? No. Right. Right, we're going to put some water in this bad boy. Yeah. It's been nice, Mr. Wasps. Can you see them all buzzing around? Come oh, on, Mr. Wasp, run right away. Stay nice and calm. Really hate one. <laughs> right. Hot tub and swim spa. Um, uh, health update, yeah? Always fill up your hot tub with one of these. When you do a cup of coffee or a cup of tea out your kettle, yeah, if you use a Brita water filter, or, sorry, brand name, you know, one of the water filters, before you fill up your kettle, yeah, the bottom of your kettle stays in good condition. Same with your hot tub. So we're gonna attach this bad boy to the hose pipe. Yeah, onto the hose pipe. Um. Oosh, oosh. So we attach this to the hose pipe like this. If we have a connection on the end, we do. Like so, yeah. Now when the water's run, comes through the hose pipe, through this, this removes probably 80% of the lime scale. This will protect your spa and keep it in good condition. Essential, that's right, Steve. Steve knows his stuff now.
So, hard water in, hard water stays in there, soft water coming out. Protecting your spa for the future. With Spa Wars. Sorry. Crazy fool. Right. Another hot tip from Spa Wars. Is always fill your spa from if you check the uh Jay. What's that? Just check the nip. Always fill your hot tub from the filter housing. This will fill up your pumps first so you don't get airlocks. You don't have to come get a visit from one of our guys. Obviously a visit from our guys is a pleasant experience. But swiftly after a visit from our guys you get a <laughs> invoice. <laughs> Which isn't so pleasant. What did I notice? There's the happy customer at the end, sporting a sporty set of shades. You survived that. You okay, everyone? Whew. You just went for a Burton, didn't you? Right, well that's a, uh, we could do a little plug there for, uh, um, what make a, gear four, gear four, um, gear four, gear four, gear four, gear four, armoured phone covers, just survived there. Thank goodness, guys. You're okay. Right, do you want to see inside a uh, one of our spas? Whoa. So. There it is there. Ours are all made of stainless steel. So this is on a stainless steel frame. You've got insulation on the base and on the sides. Yeah? Can you see it all? Can you see what it is yet? Yeah. So all stainless steel frame. So lots of our competitors will actually be using timber frames um, and they'll be cabinet, f cabinet filled. Right, and as we can see here, we've got the InTouch 2. So, luckily for this customer, they will be able to um, control their uh, control their spa from their mobile phone. Seriously, wicked bit of kit. And obviously, we can actually look as well from our um, uh, dealer app that. Um, we'll actually be able to uh, control their filter cycles and whatnot from our dealer app. So this is it here. So this is a stainless steel swim spa. Yeah, ours are built on stainless steel frames. Yeah, so the life of your spa isn't down to how good a quality the pressure treated timber is. In touch too, brilliant, isn't it? Look, there it is there. So it's already installed in the spa. So this is this this is the part here. So this this dish will be able to um, control it by Alexa. <laughs> oh, you're at home. Everyone's Alexa. Alexa, play Whitney Houston. I'll always love you. Alexa, play Whitney Houston. I'll always love you. Sorry, I could help it. Just so you're all enjoying a nice bit of Alexa in the background.
Let it play, come on. I like it. <laughs> so, yeah, so you'll be able to control it via your Alexa. Sorry, everyone's Alexa's now going bonkers. <laughs> okay, so stainless steel, stainless steel frame with this high tech insulation. So, so the, all the base is insulated, look, all cut in between the frame on a stainless steel base frame. <laughs> is it Lou again? Tell him to stop saying about Alexa. Is it? <laughs> oh, fantastic. <laughs> Oh, Lulu hasn't got one. No. Oh, <laughs> not yet. Not yet. You can win one of those, though, when we do the thing promotion, hopefully. <laughs> it, yeah, Lulu says it, it wasn't her phoning. Who was it? <laughs> it's the other woman, isn't it? You're the other woman. Oh. <laughs> it's me. Right. What else do you want to know? Anyone else want to know what's going on in style? So, Stu, right now, is this is the control this is the bit that actually controls the hot tub yeah so we're going to take the power in power in here we then tell it that we're on uk electricity so we've got a single phase um, rather than the three phase that they'll have in different countries um, whether or not that's true or am i just making it up i'm not quite sure so we've got the circulation pump here this large pump here then we've got three river jets here. These river jets are going to these heads here, which are inside the spa. I won't go that way because there's a wasp's nest. Those river jets there. That's great big swim jets, so you're actually swimming against them there. So has anyone got any questions? Has anyone got any questions? In Touch 2, brilliant, brilliant bit of kit. So you can control it from an app on your phone. Yeah, as Steve knows, Steve's got one. Sweet. Right, shall I just crack on? How long does it take to heat up to a good temperature? And um, well, it depends on the size of your spa. Um, Normal and normal size spas should be about three degrees an hour. Obviously, this has got probably five tons of water. I think it's five tons of water in it. So this one's going to take longer because it's only it's got a heater in it, a three kilowatt heater that's designed to maintain the temperature rather than uh, uh, you know to heat it up quickly because it need a like an eight kilowatt heater to heat this up really quickly. So this will maintain your temperature. And our big thermal lid on the top will keep all the keep all the temperature in. Why does it feel like I'm being bitten all the time? Is it because I'm scared of these wasps? Ten hours to warm up. Yeah, well, three degrees, three degrees an hour, ten hours, that's 30 degrees. Went in at, went in at eight degrees, maybe. Yeah, well, Steve, your, I think yours might have a two kilowatt heater in Steve, actually yours. Um, because uh, the Pluto is normally a plug and play. Like, plug and play? You're a Pluto, weren't you, Steve? Yeah. So, did he have a two, two kilowatt? Okay. Yeah. So, two kilowatt against a three kilowatt heater. So, it might be a little bit longer. Look at how many wasps there are now. Do you not like wasps? No. Neither do I. That's no? Yeah. What, like even little ones? Have to die before they, sleep. they have to die. <laughs> Mine took ten hours. Any other questions? Anyone's got? No, Stu doesn't like spiders at all, he said. But he said they all have to, he doesn't mind watching them, but they have to die, man. die, before he goes to bed. It's 
to you. Let's see how high we've got to go. See how much is in there. Yeah, look. Watch, watch, watch the wasps. Ready? It's here, Mel. Or is it a bit too... Because there's a wasp nest down here somewhere. Loads of them. Rather scary. I don't like wasps! I don't know anyone out there. Does anybody actually like wasps? Do you know, oh, I love wasps. Love a good wasp. Your, your tools look like wasps, actually. Did you? The old yellow and black. Yeah. Well, what are we going to do? Wait, I'm going to have a cup of tea. Sorry, that one actually isn't the circulation pump on that side. That's the circulation pump on that side. Right, this is inside for the new people who have just turned up. Um, inside a swim spa that we've just installed. Sorry, rather boring, just checking out everything. Right, the problem we've got, we should be, to commission this properly, we need it to fill up with water. Yeah. And this is going to take a good few hours to fill up with water. Well, more like all day, actually. So... I do believe this is going to be a revisit from Stu. We're going to have to we'll pack all this up now, tidy up everything, and then leave it filling up. Then Stu will have to return tomorrow and commission the spa. Stu's just heard that live. <laughs> um, because I'm off to Waitrose. Steve, enjoy getting that spa. I need a drink, actually. So it's pack it up time soon, pack it up, get the lid on and leave it filling up, explain to the customer where the hot tub needs to fill up with water because this is going to take some time to fill up.
So you could leave this panel off, couldn't you, Steve? Yeah, just just if they got airlocks. Right, see you later, I'm going to come off the live now. Bye!